But hello, my gosh, it is 2021, first cocktail of the year, and I have got a request from a coworker. So I am very excited to share this cocktail with you. She requested two things. One, she wanted a cocktail for Mardi Gras, and the other request was that it had to have a bourbon in it. So, okay, twist my arm, right? So the drink I'm gonna make for you, and I have to look at my sticky note because I butcher the name of this so bad every time I read it. The name is called the Saz Arak the Sazerac cocktail. So a little bit of history about the Sazerac cocktail. So it is considered the oldest U.S. cocktail. So it's um, back from the 1850s. They have records of it um, actually being made. Um, it goes, this is how the story goes. So the Sazerac was actually a cognac and there was a gentleman that had a bar in New Orleans and in 1850, Mr. Taylor imported cognac and the cognac's name was this Zacharac. Um, and he ended up selling his bar and he just went straight to importing. And then a gentleman by the name of Aaron bought the bar from him and started making this cocktail. And so over time, the bar traded hands and then in 1870, there was a new owner and he changed the, um, the cognac to bourbon slash rye. So you can kind of make it with, it's traditional rye, but it's also made with bourbon. So um, I'm definitely going the traditional route today, but I think you're fine if you um, put in your bourbon. So um, uh, two things I just thought were really interesting about this um, cocktail. In 2019, they opened a museum where the original bar is in New Orleans. So you can go in there and check out everything about this cocktail. And in 2008, the Senate Bill 6 named this the official cocktail of New Orleans. So how fitting for Mardi Gras, we will make the Zacharac. So here's your ingredients for it. Um, yes, there is actually a Zacharac rye available. So I just got this at our local liquor store. It's very common found. Um, it is a rye, but again, if you have bourbon at home, you can switch it out for that. Okay, there's even a um, Zacharac Hotel in New Orleans, so that would be kind of cool just to see it. So it's very popular. You are going to need a very specific bitters, and it's the Pichard's Bitter, um, so make sure you have that one. And then you're also going to need absinthe and i bought this one um this is the lucid absinthe is kind of um more like a licorice kind of taste and it kind of has a green color i would say the more processed ones make it really green but this one it's very light green you can't even really tell um, that much color to it and then you're going to need some simple syrup and we talked about that um, lots and lots, so equal parts sugar and water, and then you just melt it um, in a little little pot on the stove. And I've had this for weeks in my refrigerator, stays good. And then you're just gonna need a lemon for your garnish. So here we go, this drink is so simple. Um, you're gonna need two rocks glasses. One you wanna keep full of ice, the other one you're gonna do your mixing in here, okay? So it's very easy. Um, you are going to take one and a half ounces of the bourbon, and then I just did a teaspoon of the simple syrup, and you will put that into your glass, and then you are going to take your bitters, and it's quite a lot of bitters. It's actually six to eight dashes. I'm only just gonna do six, I think, cause that's enough for me. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then all you're gonna do is give this a stir. That is it. Okay, so um, here we go. The glass that has the ice in it, all you're doing is chilling this glass. So I've had this in here the whole time we've been talking, or I've been talking, and I'm gonna dump. And then what you do is you take a quarter ounce of the absinthe and you pour it into your chilled glass. And you are simply rolling your glass because you want to get that absinthe just to coat the inside of your glass. So I'm just kind of taking it all the way up to the rim and that's about it. Doing a couple turns with it, that's it. And then you dump it out. 
voila. And then you take your mixture that you have in your other um, rocks glass, which was the um, whiskey, simple syrup, and the um, pichards. Now, one thing I was gonna say too about the simple syrup, they do say it's supposed to be over um, a sugar cube, which I tried yesterday, and you muddle the sugar cube with the bitters. It was just kind of gritty for me. I didn't really like it, so I switched today to the simple syrup, so I'll let you know with a comparison how it is. And so then there you go. You just pour it in. And for your garnish, this is traditional too. Um, all they do is a peel, a longer kind of peel of lemon. So just have a nice long one. And then you are just supposed to kind of release the essence of it over the top. You're not even supposed to put it inside your drink. And then you serve it, whoops, you serve it with it sitting on top. So this drink is not for the light of heart. I mean, if you're not used to um, having bourbon, you know, kind of straight up, um, you know, maybe put an ice cube in there. I don't even know if that's traditional or not. But anyways, I thought for Mardi Gras and for my friend, I was gonna do a traditional cocktail. So I'm just gonna take this off while I sample it, and then I'll let you know how it compared to the sugar cube versus the simple syrup. Okay, so here we go. Mm, I like it much better with the simple syrup, I have to say. So I was just gonna kind of give you all just my take on this. All right, the absinthe. I am not a fan of licorice flavor. So I was um, hesitant buying this. It's not cheap, but I thought, you know, let's do the traditional. I see this drink in all of the um, whiskey books for cocktails, so I really wanted to try it. I think it's delicious. I think just that little bit of coating in here is enough. It's just like, um, it's kind of on the back of my tongue. It's not strong and it's not in your face. I really think it adds some depth to this cocktail. So, mm, it's delicious, it's delicious. So I hope you try it. I hope you, um, expand your cocktail uh, repertoire and make this. Again, it's not, like I said, like boom. Um, but if you're not used to drinking straight up bourbon, it could be a little much. But um, I mean, what a way, what a way to start 2021. So my friends, cheers. Um, please keep sending in your requests for cocktails. I will be more than happy to make them and have a great start to a new month, February. Wow. Ciao, everybody.